Me, when I wake up, the first thing I do is CNN. And I watch CNN from morning to evening and online with Jens. This, this, this. But then uh, I could, I could, I was still doing events here and there, but I was getting tired. Uh, so Jens and I build a prototype and we launch, we launch it as 250 taxi, 250 taxi. 250 is the country code of uh, Rwanda. Mm. We launch. So I go to Walker, I tell him, uh, I'm launching this business. I'll give you 10% if you let me use your office. So Walker agrees. So now Walker and I, I've got an office now, I've got a job. I can go to the work in the morning and in the evening I go home. But then our product, it's okay. We've got 10, 15 users, 20 users here. It grew. We've got like 2,000 downloads now. At least we're getting 10, 15 rides. But it is not working how I want it to work. People are still calling us to book for orders, uh, to book for rides. People are still sending SMSs. It, it doesn't have scale. It can't scale. Mm. There's so many bugs. Sometimes the map is not loading. And when I... When I Jens eventually went to Europe. And... <laughs> It's funny. So I would tell Jens, this is not working. And then he tells me, but it's working for me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then I would tell him, if you're to compare my 3G and your 2G, <laughs> where do you think we stand? Huh? Yeah. We still have the same files today. I'd be like, this is not working. It's not loading. He'd be like, but it's loading for me. You need to consider the... The, 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 the location. The location. You're in Europe. <laughs> your internet you is crazy. Compare, how are you going to compare my internet and yours? You're supposed to optimize thing to this thing to be used in Africa. <laughs> I, yeah. Do you not remember testing that map at 2 a.m. in the morning on top of a motorbike? Yeah? On top of a motorbike in Rwanda like this with my phone. Because what we used to do, how to calculate the distance we'll be building such a technology. You have to the GPS location has to report every few seconds. Mm. And then you combine that, it makes a certain line, and then you calculate that, and that's your distance. So that's how that technology works. Okay, let's continue. Paul again for that stop. So this bike, um, you, you are Uko put in your four, your 3G Uko yeah. while, while you drive. Okay, so continue with this product. Okay, so I'm, I'm so at this time I'm we're trying to get accurate locations, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then most of what we are doing, we are trying to do. First of all, it takes teams and millions of dollars to build such products. Mm. But then it's <laughs> but yeah. it's just me and my buddy here, and which is okay because if, if you measure that ambition, it was man. Now that I think about it, again it was ahead of man. yeah. I was like, you know, I'm building my own Uber and I'll do it. So yeah, eventually we, we launched an MVP, minimum viable product, and it works. Mm. And it worked. You and have to register this company. Yeah, in, it's in, no, in yeah, 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 yeah. And I got someone to my Congolese friend invested two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> in cash <laughs> yeah I think for 10% I don't even remember and he went and we opened a joint account and he put it in there and I withdrew all of it and I spent it <laughs> on the company though <laughs> at once <laughs> anyway uh, so yeah so now we've got a product uh, it was how, work how are you getting the riders or the car or the cabs so what happened is yeah. Man, I had, I, I believe I, I had, I had the, the best strategy. I just didn't have enough resources because you know what I did. So I created a good relationship with the government. Okay? The government, the Ministry of Transport and Regulations, regulators, because they liked the fact that this was an East African product. They considered Kenya as their own. And they used to allow us to go see the minister of ICT every Tuesday. So I would be in the room with the minister every Tuesday discussing with him. So I used to call every startup. So we'd meet him. And that's how I got into those networks. And eventually, uh, they pushed taxis belonging to some taxi hailing up. And I was the only one in the market. Whoa. Yeah. So guys started signing up. Guys started signing up. Of course, initially, I did my first sign-ups, 20. Mm. I went to some company, some Chinese company called Konka, and I negotiated some deal where I got phones, smartphones, and I would pay slowly, and I gave them to these drivers. What? Yeah, and they stole them. 
<laughs> I told them I lost them, one of them. And I was in debt again, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then now, did guys start signing up? Yeah, a lot. Okay, so what happens then with this? Did, 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 did people start using the app? Yeah. We never went without 10 rides a day. So why am Organic I not, rides. Why am I not hearing like you're happy about this product? Because it was frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> Were you profitable? No. What? We're talking about profit. <laughs> <laughs> talk, let's talk and talk about the bare minimum revenues. <laughs> hey man, this could not sustain anyone. Mm. And you know the drivers used to collect money and pay us the commissions. The drivers are not paying. You've given them the phones, they're disappearing. And here you're dealing, first of all, you've got the biggest challenge I faced in Rwanda is what we call product education. Mm. You spend so much time and money investing and educating people about the product that eventually you give up because First of all, language barrier. Half mm. of the drivers don't speak English. Mm. Customers, same thing. Half of them, half of the drivers don't even know how to use a smartphone at that time. I get, I get, I get it. Yeah. It's in, it was insane. Quality control when it comes to kind of cars. Because you can't just say you're not allowed to join my platform and the government is encouraging you. And there you can't just free, use freelancing taxis. It has to be a proper... Regulations they are tough. Mm. Yeah. And so we're running it, I think I did it from 20, 2015. 2015. Yeah, for about two years, almost two years. So how are you eating then? My sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is the time my mom. My, this is the time my mom. Ish, my goodness. See, mom. And she knows this. So my mom sends some money to Kenya. To pay, to pay the architect. And then I tell the architect, my mama said that he should send some of that money to my brother. And then I tell my brother to send me some of that cash. <laughs> ah, well. And then my mom, one, two, a month later, calls me and she's like, what did you do with the architect's money? <laughs> she's not even pissed. But I'm panicking at this time. I told her, oh, I thought I'll return it. Put it into the business. It wasn't a lot, it was like 30 Gs. Yeah. So, and why did you have to involve your brother? Because my brother was in there. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one that they sent the money to him. <laughs> so when my mom is receiving the bill, there's a shortage of 30,000. She doesn't understand what's going on here. <laughs> I took the money and I, that was my, I lived off that. Yeah. You were an but I have to give I have to give a huge shout out to my friends, the guys I came up with, because those guys never saw me go through it miserable time. They supported me a lot, George and all those guys. Mm. When it was about the lifestyle, in case there's a party, they would invite me. I don't have to contribute to anything, and they were my cheerleaders. So George become became a very big deal in Rwanda because now he's on CNBC. It's a, it's a big deal. <laughs> George used to host crazy parties. Oh, You'd go to his house on Fridays, eh? And there's a line of cars and people, house parties. And every night, when people want to go home, George used to get them a, a, a 250 taxi. Aye. He was a taxi man. Yes. <laughs> he was a taxi, call George. <laughs> so George used to push my business. All of them used to push my business a lot. And that's how it, 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 it grew even between ourselves, I started doing some, so George is the one that gave me my first TV interview to talk about, can you imagine I was talking about, I was talking about, these guys were talking, having conversations about Uber and all the likes, and they invited me to talk about 250 Taxi on the same platform, CNBC. <laughs> and I was like, wow. I watched that interview now and then, and I couldn't even express myself well. But anyway. So how are you feeling at this time? I mean, cause, I, you know, I keep going back to that thing. You're the one who brought these guys. Yeah. And you're the one who still the guys. I'm still feeling... My, my salary. I'm give, still give feeling... To them. <laughs> I'm still feeling... I used to talk to mama about this. I'm still feeling some type of way. Where is my blessing, my guy? Mm. Is it my destiny to keep founding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Am I just the founder? <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah. And, so what and did your mom used to tell you? She's like, your time is coming. You know, she used to tell me that. Your time is coming. Hey, don't worry. And I was very patient and eventually I got comfortable with it. It stops okay. bothering me and I was like, you know what? I mean, this is the, this guy's the route they've decided to take. This is my route. 
it is what it is let's go so yeah uh so during this time i'm running my business but it's not growing i don't even know how to raise money mm. even if i was to start i already know where to start from uh and then i so i i i started talking about potential partnerships yeah to see how the company would grow so I, I i told i told my so at that point now walker is my partner i told him you know what i think i feel like i need to leave uh this place and see where that i can get other partnerships with other people to at least grow this business and then uh i i met some guys that wanted to invest in invest in such a similar business order to 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 start a partnership unfortunately things didn't pan out mm and during this time i was thinking about rebranding because 250 taxi was only coined towards that country so i couldn't go register 263 260 every oh, country yes, exactly there. 254 like, oh, yeah this will not fly so i thought about africa now that's when africa came into mind uh-huh. yeah africa yeah africa mm-hmm. exactly but uh during the time during the time i was running africa at 250 taxi there was a business that was coming up it was huge and this was hello food <laughs> yeah.